basically the program, the alert program that we know now started in 1982. Uh, prior to that, we had more of a, what we call the con control program. The bears come up the coast, come into Churchill, and they were basically just destroyed. They were taken out of the population. In the early 80s, late 70s, the people of Churchill and Manitoba Conservation realized the importance of the polar bears. So we started, you know, we started into this alert program where rather than destroying the bears, we put them into a situation like this building, housed them in this building, got them out of harm's way, out of the, you know, doing harm to the people of Churchill or to themselves and housed them in what we call our polar bear holding compound here. If you can, if you can move these bears through, get them out past the town of Churchill, across the Churchill River, they're out of harm's way, they're out of the general public's way and all they want to do is they want to get back onto the sea ice and start hunting ring seals again. So, especially the young ones, if we can get them sub-adults through them first years of life, get them into adulthood, it, we seem to, uh, it seems to work a lot better and, and, and we're not having no more bear problems. They're trying to find their place throughout, throughout the coastline. They don't know whether to be near the big males or, you know, they're getting battered around a bit. So yeah, they're going to they're gonna come into one of our control areas and get themselves into trouble. Since we started this control program in the early 80s, yeah, the numbers have decreased significantly. Like, we haven't had a fatality since the early 80s and we haven't had a mauling for the last number of years. And, and, and the same with the health of the polar bears. We, we haven't had to destroy polar bears anymore. The way the, way the program's working, if we can move these bears through and not have them that we have to destroy them because we've had three strikes against them, I think that's a success of the program. We're actually now walking them along the coast. The guys will pick them up and actually walk them right through town with cracker shells and, and, with, and with the trucks and that. And just along the coastline, out to Cape Mary, across the Hudson Bay, then we, we never have to handle them. We don't put drugs through them, we never handle them. And we got a bear that, you know, it's an occurrence, but it's not a bear handled. So, you know, our numbers with the Polar Bear Alert Program, you know, it'll show that they're significantly going down, but it's not so much that the bears are acting different. I think it's, it, it's the program that's acting different in the fact that we're walking these bears through, and this is all these bears want to do. They're not trying to get into trouble. To get themselves into a situation, if you can move them through, get them on the other side of town and get them across that river, normally they're not going to come back. The Polar Bear Alert Program is divided into, we've, it's basically three zones. It's a deterrent and detection zone, which is zone three or zone two. And that's the outside of, outside of town, the uninhabited areas. Zone two is the airport, uh, Goose Creek, some of the places where you have people either living or, or occupying, that'll be zone two. And then zone one, which is the primary protection zone, that's downtown Churchill, that's where you have, you know, the people living. And that's uh, really where we concentrate most of our efforts, or all of our efforts, is in the zone one. That's where we have our traps on the outside of zone one. And we will have traps in zone two and in zone three at times, but it'll be on an as-needed basis. It's when, it's when we get a call, like if we get a call to the airport, or if we get a call to Goose Creek that, we, you know, there's bear activity out there, there's a problem bear out there or there's something that we have to action, we'll move a trap out there in order to catch the bear and move it out of there. Basically the order, order of priority is first, it's the protection of life and property for the people of Churchill and for the people of the periphery of Churchill. The second thing is the welfare of the polar bears. The third thing is the bears will not become food conditioned or human habituated. The last thing is the safety of the staff. And what can we do and what do we need and what means do we have to put in place to make the, the staff do their job safe. The big thing is understanding that if you have early detection, you can use your deterrent actions to move the bears and to move them into, into, a, into a place or position that they're no longer a threat or, or a threat to, to, to the people of, of the town.